shit, man, your behavioral patterns are representative of that. You know what I'm saying? If I fucking have a you a beast and some feathers, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm starting to look like a duck out here. You know, what I mean? that's just what it is. And you know what? If you want to be honest, what sex slut shames the most? Women. Women. The first thing a woman says when another woman she don't like another woman. Oh, she's oh, a hoe. Use a man, hoe. Use a slut. Watching Witches of Eastwick. That shit was 1980, whatever the fuck, 86, 88, <laughs> one of the two. You know what I mean? And who was slut shaming Susan Sarandon in the grocery store? All women. There you go. That's All the women. funniest part. Like men don't even refer to women like, look at that whore. She needs to cover herself up, that charlatan. No, it's not even it's like, yo, hey, baby, you know what I mean? Come over here. Like yeah. slut shaming only happens when you're dealing with people who don't get the, what they want. So then they decide to go opposite. And, and then like, like that should happen to me, bro. You someone was was super attached until I detached them. And now it's like, oh, that's why you're blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh shit. That that's how dudes react when they get turned off by girls oh this isn't just a sex thing this is a human thing mm -hmm. oh i get it you don't get your way so then you want to just project and go crazy to make to, to gaslight them into thinking you never even wanted what they had anyway even though that's what the fuck you wanted oh now i get it i get it yeah it's a it's a twisty you know kind of a thing between like shaming blaming this and, that and the other it's like now, that's not the, the the point. You know what I'm saying? The point is certain behaviors are looked at certain ways in society, and that's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to steamroll and make a change, great. Along the way, you know, you're going to have to fight those battles and you're going to be like taking some slings of mud at you because you're 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 evolving the system or whatever. And the thing about systems is that they create comfort zones for people. You know what I'm saying? They create comfort territories. Like a lot of the people that are mad at sluts are probably less attractive than that particular female. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. So it's some more so self-hatred as well as hatred. You know what I mean? Instead of really giving a fuck about what that person is doing. You know what I'm saying? It's more so got to do with the person that's pointing the finger. Usually, um, and then, you know, even like victim blaming, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's more of a way of like how people process when they hear something that has happened to a person. It's like, oh, well, if they could have just avoided this or done this, then maybe that wouldn't have happened. But that I don't necessarily love the term blaming. It's more so like, you know, here's a word of advice to anybody else out there that might be, you know, running down a road semi-reckless thinking that, these things are okay when you don't have all the protections in the world of the free, it, it, you know, the protections don't equivalent, you know, what's the word? Not equivalent, equate to the, the, the freedoms, you know, of wanting to be however it is, you know what I mean? That will garnish the attention of somebody that will do harm to you a lot of the time. You know what I'm saying? It's like, Oh, I'm just out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, free to do whatever and wear whatever and blah, blah, blah. And like, yeah, that's cool until you run into an actual crazy person and nobody's there to protect you, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever, you know what I mean? And then it's like, not necessarily victim blaming, but it's a processing of thought. Well, what if, you know, they weren't, you know, wearing what they're wearing or what if they weren't in that place at that time or whatever? I just feel like it's more trying to understand so we can maybe prevent in the future yes. certain things as opposed to trying to, stop everybody from being as free as they want to be it's like no that's not the case like everybody's all for freedom this is america you know what i'm saying yep. but at the same time there are pieces of shit out there you know what i'm saying and like a lot of them you know aren't necessarily always you know near a cop to where a cop can intervene basically so like there's all kind of shit crimes that go on that seemingly feel like you know they were unnecessary or they didn't have to happen and blah, blah, blah. And there, there might be some truth to that. It, it might not have had to have happened if that person didn't register on the radar of a maniac. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. One of the worst things to, to, that, that, that could have happened during the, I want to say emancipation of people's personal freedoms, almost, I guess want to say, for lack of better words, mm -hmm. is the removal of shame. 
Mm-hmm. It, it's the removal of 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 like if I do this, are people going to judge me, make me feel? And, and, and am I going to be weird? Like, am I going to be not I mean, weird? But am I going? Am, like, all right, I, listen, I love Lizzo. You're She's playing me. No, you're borderline promoting sociopathy though in that in that manner. You know what I'm saying? Bingo. You're just having a disconnect to any kind of negative feeling towards any action you do. That's wildly reckless. Fuck people. Opinion. Fuck people. Just me. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm going to go to the Lakers game with my ass cheeks just fully out. I'm going to wear some pants, but the ass cheeks carved out, but the pants there. Where in other parallel universe could you get away with that? At, I, that should be blowing my brain. Trust me. It blows my brain. But when you remove shame, then you allow that. And then it's free game for all. And then the best part is the people that remove the shame, then they figured out the new shame tactics. And now they're like trying to reverse the shame on the people that might have shamed them. And now they're doing all that's the problem. That's why cancer culture is, a, is about to be a wrap. Remember, you heard it here first. Cancer culture is going to be a wrap in about. 24 to 36 months after Rogan, I mean, I feel this like one. cancel culture is headed for the wall, just like all these COVID restrictions are just hit the wall big basically. time. Like everybody just pulled it back and they're just over it. You know what I'm saying? Because you it's overdose. distracting from it's just distracting from progress, damn near. You know what I'm saying? Like you're just holding shit back. This whole argument that you want to make, everybody's got validity on both sides, so the argument never goes anywhere. All you get is shock factor moments, like a chick goes to the beach in a thong thong, super thong, and there's little kids around, and she gets confronted by a mother and asks to cover up or something. Like, that mother might have that right, you know what I mean? Because you're perverting her child before it's time for that, you know what I mean? There, There is appropriate levels of exposure in age factors. That's a real thing. Like, a child's not ready to deal with all of that necessarily. I mean, I mean maybe they are, but... In America, that's not how society goes. So if you want to not have run-ins with parents and shit, don't go to the beach with your ass out when you know there's going to be kids around. Can't tell her that, though. You can't go to a basketball game with your ass out because there's kids around. You know what I'm saying? Like, there has to be an appropriate factor when it comes to underageness. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how it is. I mean, that's that shit. Who gives a fuck? Walk around with your ass cheeks out, I guess. But when you're going to a place where people have brought their children, that's a different thing. You know, walking down the street, you know, that's that's a totally other thing. You know what I'm saying? It's just, that's what That's indecent is. exposure. It, you, there has to be standards. It basically is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but in, in free places like New York or the West Village or whatever, depending on the weekend, LA. you see a lot of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but when it comes to like an actual meeting place and a destination point where everybody's going to be kind of just around and kicking it and not just in passing or whatever. Yeah. That's it's, it's more of a trauma because it's lasting longer. You're right. I'm going to have to go get that penis reduction, man. I can't be on the beach out here just swinging and dangling. (laughs) Cut it down. Party till I die. down. Uh, let's bring it back up, Keenan. Come on, baby. Oh, come See on, that man. thing about you, that girl, my oh, oh, eye oh. is the same thing that making me change my <laughs> mind. Kind of hard to mind. explain it, but yeah. girl, explain I'll try. <laughs> you need to sit down. This may taking a while. <laughs> taking a while. Fua. Fua. Oh, yeah. Get okay. Hey, you, 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 okay. you, you, go to. Pizza, hey, thumb down. Hey. Yes, yes. Hey. Pero mira, pero mira que wow. They calling me the Dominicano. Hilarious. Oh, God, that was so good. <laughs> it's a coming. <laughs> yes, pero mira. <laughs> they call me the Dominicano. Que lo que. <laughs> See the thing about uh, you. <laughs> see the thing <laughs> about my <you>. mind. <laughs> Shout out to Chris Ronald. So, so hilarious. <laughs> All right, man. So they tried to cancel Dave, but that shit did not work. They said Dave isn't down with poor folks and he knows want affordable housing. Hey, man, come on. Uh, they've, they've definitely chosen the wrong one to keep trying to catch in the web, bro. The man is too educated and he's also. He's he's financially stable, you know what I'm saying? So he's never afraid to set the record straight on anything. And nobody can take anything from him necessarily. I'm sure his house and land is paid for it, it's that and the other. So the only thing you can take from him is probably, 
I don't even want to say, you know what I'm saying? Because it might put negativity in people's minds or whatever, but they've definitely chosen the wrong one to try to a cancel or B throw like lies and gaslighting on, you know what I'm saying? Cause he'll always clarify. And then by the time he does clarify, nothing has happened to his career. That's what they try to throw that fear tactic on you. It's like, Oh, we put this on you. And like, that's the end of you making money the way you want to blah, blah, blah. It's like, I know I don't think anybody has the power over that man because of the medium he works in, which is an individual grabbing a microphone. And that can happen in a bunch of different ways across this planet. Yep. So no, no, in case you want to know what happened. Um, so according to the according to the Torrey show on Instagram, the town of Yellow Springs is a small town of 4000 people with a quaint college town vibe. Locals want to keep Yellow Springs weird in quotes. A developer with no ties to the area has bought a large plot, 50 acres, and they plan to build 140 very expensive homes. The typical Ohio home is 182,000. But in this new area, homes would be 300,000 to 600,000. That would fundamentally change the small town. The main issue for Chappelle and locals is the gentrification and unwanted suburban sprawl. It's out of state developers changing their town forever. The developer carved out a small 1.75 acre out of how many acres out of 50 acres, 1.75 acre affordable housing piece as a way to as a way of mollifying Yellow Springs people who aren't who are upset that the development will change Yellow Springs. Really, it's. They, 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 you you got to understand that you're dealing with dinosaurs and it's so obvious by their tactics. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They're not living in current day. Like you put out a story. I can put out the truth the same day in two seconds, or whatever, and it'll get to just as many people, if not more. You know what I mean? They try to throw this gaslighting bullshit like Chappelle's against affordable housing because there's one little niche thing in their little thing that gives them the validity to even say that. You know what I'm saying? But when you look deeper, which everybody does these days, the truth is going to fucking be as we're sitting here talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it is. It's like you can't just pull the wool over people's eyes with clickbait anymore. Nope. 